Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your own buffalo plaid designs in Cricut Design Space. Um, I've got three here that I've already done. I've got the snowman, the Christmas tree, and the truck. And I'm going to show you how I did each one of them. I'm going to delete some of this for now. This guy I'm just going to hide. Okay, so you're going to need a buffalo plaid SVG. Um, I have created this one. You can purchase it from my website or my Etsy shop. I'll link to that. It's just $1.99. Or you can create your own buffalo plaid pattern. Um, I, I think I might do a video later on on how I did this, but essentially what it is is two separate parts. I've just got a square in the back, and then I made the check pattern in the front um, in a program called Inkscape. And yeah, I might make a video later on on how I did that, but for right now, um, I'm just going to use the one I've already got created here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do after you get your Buffalo Plaid SVG, and you have to make sure it's an SVG. It can't be a PNG. You've got to be able to cut it. Um, you're going to put in whatever design you want to make. I just came over to... Um, um, the Cricut Access stuff, and I got a Christmas tree, and it was this one, and I got a snowman, and it was this one. Okay, so I just put those guys in my project. I'm going to do the snowman first. So I made them pretty big, and you have to duplicate whatever you're going to make your buffalo check pattern, whatever design you're going to make, you have to duplicate it. So here's my original guy. I'm going to duplicate him, and I'm going to hide the duplicate. And you'll see why we do that in just a minute, but make sure you do it before you start doing everything else. And then you come down and you get your... Um, Buffalo check SVG or Buffalo plaid, whatever y'all call this. And you just want to size it to be as big as the image that you are cutting. So I've got that sized right around there. Um, if I want to make sure everything's centered, I can drag a box and I can come up here and I can center it all. And that centered it for me. Okay, so now all I want to do is drag a box around all of this and hit slice. So I'm going to get rid of that, going to get rid of that, going to keep this part and get rid of this. So this is now the buffalo pattern that I'm going to put on top of this other one that I duplicated. So let me turn this one red and I'll turn this one black. And then when I slide this on top of that, I have a Buffalo Check Snowman. It's that easy. Um, in the example that I had for you guys, um, let's see, I had turned this white, I believe. And then this was gray. Or some version of that. Um, I might have switched that around. Let me make this gray and this white anyways you can play around with it however you want <clears throat> to get it looking just how you want it that's the snowman I'm gonna get rid of him for now let me pull this Christmas tree in okay and I'm gonna duplicate it and then we're gonna just hide the layer I duplicated since I've already used my buffalo check pattern, I have to go get um, a new one. So I've just got it saved here in my uploads. Here it is. Again, we only need this front layer. Um, you can take the back layer out. You don't want to use that or you, uh, you won't be cutting anything. You'll just be getting a big old square. Okay, so I'm going to size this. Uh, this one, I did not like the way that it looked it just wasn't enough buffalo plaid for me so what I did 
was I made my pattern here longer. I took this one. Let me get this out of the way real quick. You want it kind of big if you're going to put two together. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate that. Bring this all the way down here and just line it up as best as you can. Then select your top, shift, select your bottom, and weld. Okay, that's not good. You see it, it cut out some of my areas. I need to redo my weld. So what I want to do is take this bottom one and reposition it a little. Okay, now we'll try it again. Weld. Now I have it over to the side a little bit. So I'm just going to scooch it in. That looks good. Let's try this again. Select the top, select the bottom, weld. There we go. Now I have a much longer buffalo check pattern so I can make, make it work better on my tree here. <clears throat> so I'm going to put my tree in here. I need this to be a little bigger because I need it to be as wide as my tree. There we go. Bring it down. And this is just eyeballing where you think you would want your stuff to be. Um, I am going to center these two to make sure they are perfectly aligned. There we go. And now I'm going to slice. So I don't need that anymore. That's what I want to keep. And I don't need either of these. So here's this, here's my tree, put them in, and I have that buffalo check pattern. The last one I did was this Christmas truck here. This I also just found in, um, in the images in Cricut Access. I just typed in Christmas truck. It was this one right here. Insert that into my project. Okay, let me hide the one I've got already completed here. Okay, so for this, you need to ungroup it. Anything you do not want to be buffalo check, like I didn't want this tree to be buffalo check, I just wanted the truck. Anything you don't want, you need to take out of your design. So I ungrouped it. I'm going to take this tree and just hide it because I don't want it to be buffalo check. Also, this, um, this method does not work if your design has more than one layer. Right now, I've got this red layer, I've got this black layer, and I've got this silver layer. That's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to slice out of that. So I just want to take all of this and weld it together. So now it's just one layer. And I'm going to turn it red because that's the color we're working with. Okay, so again, I've got my base here. I need to duplicate it. And then just hide the duplicate. Go get my Buffalo Check SVG. Get rid of that bottom layer. And size it to fit my truck. I'm going to make this truck a little bit smaller. Okay. Let's see here. Um, just takes a little bit of looking and checking and making sure everything is where you want it. That's probably going to be okay. Let me just center this. I'm going to select everything, align, and center. It was already centered. Okay. So we do the thing. Select everything and slice. There is the truck that we're going to be using. So I can get rid of this. I can get rid of this. And I can get rid of this. Okay. So here's our pattern. We're going to pull in the truck that we had hidden. Oh, when I resized it, it uh, changed the size of my hidden truck. I had to resize that back down. 
So anyway, there's that. Now I'm gonna have to resize my Christmas tree too. That's okay. Whoop. Come here, you. You get back over here. Okay, so let me group these together so I don't move them around again. And then I can get my tree and size it to be the size I need it to fit in here. I needed to make it bigger, I believe. Yeah. Okay. When you're doing this, if you resize your main design, resize your duplicate so you don't have to come back in here and mess with all this. Because it's a pain. There we go. That's going to get it done. Okay, and so then I would group all this together, and I have my Buffalo Check truck. It's that easy. You just need to get yourself um, a Buffalo Check SVG. Again, I'll link to mine. It's $1.99, but they're all over. You can get them from Etsy. You can find them on Pinterest. Uh, just make sure that it is an actual SVG that you can cut out. Let me pull it up. You want to make sure that you can cut out these lines. You need it to have a thick solid square and then you would, when you cut all this, you would just weed out these little lines. If your pattern isn't like this, it's likely not going to let you create these kinds of patterns. Because what you're doing is when you go to cut your design, like if you wanted to cut this truck, you would cut this red layer, then you would cut your black check layer and you would weed out all the little lines and you would place it on top of your red layer and then you'd layer in your green tree. But if your design doesn't let you pull out the red layers, you are not going to get, um, you're not going to get your buffalo plaid pattern. Alright guys, that's all we have for this time. See you next time.